Hey everybody, we're looking for a good backpack solution to hold all of our instruments when we travel and when we work day to day. Um, this is especially pertinent to flying. Previously when I had to take my scope meter with me, I had to carry this Pelican 1520 case um, and there was an extra baggage fee involved with that. So we're trying to avoid that. Um, this is my Klein Tradesman Pro Tech backpack that held my laptop and some of my instruments before. Um, all of the contents of both of these bags are inside this fluke bag and it holds it quite nicely and securely and I'm excited about it and wanted to show it to you guys. Um, this bag has lots of straps on the outside to help support the zippers and to make sure that when you're carrying it on your back that, um, you're, that the zippers aren't excessively stressed even when the backpack is all the way full. Um, you have a tape loop here for uh, hanging tape on the outside when you're working day to day and there are pockets and as well as um, these little straps that you can hang things on and a tape clip for when you're working day to day out on the job. Um, when you carry it, there is a chest strap and it's pretty easy to get on and off once you fit it. It's not overly cumbersome. It is a thick backpack. It is heavy. I've got it loaded to the gills right now. But this is way better than carrying around, you know, a piece of luggage and something I have to carry in my hand or a big stack of stuff. Um, it's very nice. Um, one of the big concerns with this backpack is that um, we were not going to be able to have a laptop pocket. The dedicated pocket in the back is really only big enough for a tablet without a keyboard, or in this case, a notebook. Um, so. Throwing that out of the equation, we uh, spent some time today taking a look at this bag and I think it still fits the bill. We just can't find anything better online um, that would fit this, um, all of the equipment we've got any better. So let's look at the exter exterior compartments. Let's start in the front. This is a hard case in the front. It's not, uh, it's not super hard. It is compressible, but again, we're not checking this bag. The idea is that we carry this on and it is hard enough to protect it from day to day, you know, bumps and that kind of thing. We have my scope meter right here, fits nicely. I could probably fit some more leads here. I did not even utilize these pockets here, but the scope meter fits nicely there. Just zips right up. And the top, a uh, Fluke 87 fits here right now. I have a big pile of leads here. This is all a lot of my uh, scope meter attachments. I've got two sets of leads for the 87, and I've got a bunch of other stuff in there, so there's plenty of room for that there. The side compartments, they open all the way up, which is really nice, so you can view everything that's in them. Here I have my uh, four scope meter leads for my three channel low scope. On this side, I have my infrared, and again, there is more room in these pockets that I'm not using, so this bag can still hold more. Inside the main compartment, the main compartment folds up like this. So if you just want access to the top of the bag, that's really nice. I've got my glove bag in here. If I took this out and put it inside my luggage, um, I could carry some personal articles on the airplane with me, um, a small pillow or blanket or whatever, or uh, even an extra set of clothes in case my luggage was lost. Um, turning this around, um, I've got two laptops in here right now, and that's definitely thicker than one of the new Toughbook laptops. We wanted to make sure that that can fit. Um, there is no padding for a laptop inside this compartment. We're thinking that the best idea, if you don't have a tough book, is just to get a, uh, a laptop sleeve and we'll put a little foam in the bottom of this backpack, maybe get something that's custom made to fit in the bottom to uh, pad your laptop when you're setting it down and picking it up. Um, and then we'll just have a sleeve over it and that'll be more than sufficient because it's right in the center of the backpack. When you open up the main compartment, it does open all the way down. It doesn't stand up quite as nicely as I would like for it to. Um, it kind of flops over, but that may change after you break it in a little bit. Um, I carry a lot of stuff that most techs probably don't even carry anymore. This is a phase rotation meter, for instance, and I still have my uh, trusty signature pad that I actually still use all the time. Um, we have my amp clamp. This is my 87. There are lots of pockets up here at the top for tools that I'm not even using. Here's an interior uh, spot to store a measuring tape. There are a bunch of pockets on the front. This is actually three layers deep, and I'm only using a little bit of it. I've got my laptop charger in the front, and I've got uh, 
with the rest of the cords for the laptop charger and for the uh, signature pad there. And then the bottom of the bag is just it's, it's completely wide open. And I've got some of my serial cables there right now just to show the space um, that I would use to connect my laptop to a UPS like a Toshiba. Um, overall, I think this is a really good option. It appears to be very durable. And um, there again, this is a great option for when we travel to help us avoid luggage fees and just cumbersome situations in the airport where we're carrying a bunch of different bags and public cases and such. I think this is a great option.